I am Rama Gowda from Bangalore. I am an engineer, but um, publishing a magazine called Shudra Shakti. I do agree with uh, Dr. Jakir Nayak as far as uh, his thoughts are concerned, as far as uh, one God is concerned. <laughs> but Mr. Nayak himself said the reformers of Hinduism have given stress on believing Vedas, not on Puranas. If that is so, can we agree with Kalki as an avatara? And second question, I will come, I will come with another two questions. If Kalki Purana and your version of Kalki could bring peace with the two religions in India, all right, give lot of publicity to it and try to win over the people. Second thing is, you said the Hindu, the, you quoted in Vedas, and a friend of mine also posed a question, the in Vedas are not allowed to be read by all. It's a fact. Among Hindus, there are four Varnas. Except Brahmins, the other three Varnas are not allowed to read. Only the Kshatriyas and Vaishyas can hear, but Shudras are never allowed to read Vedas. They had no access to Vedas. So, what is Hinduism? Come. Can, you, can you call, sure, sure. can you say that Shudras are also Hindus? Brother, very good but question. You said, you said Hindu is a... Excuse me, brother. People brother, belong to certain area. Brother, I do agree. Please ask one question at a time. The brother asked two questions. I do agree with the second question I didn't answer. Not because I did not know the answer. I gave the first answer. Ask one question at a time. You can ask the second question. No problem. I'm here. Okay. My flight is 4.30 in the morning. One question at a time, and I'll be my pleasure. If I don't know, I'll tell you I don't know. The brother asked two questions, and I gave the first answer. And when I sat down, I realized, oh, I forgot. I'm a human being. I'm not a computer. <laughs> so the second question, after I sat down, I realized I didn't answer. Thank you for reminding. Your main question, first question you said, that the Hindu reformers said, don't follow Puranas, only follow Vedas. So why have I quoted Kalki Purana? If I leave it out, what will happen? Brother, towards the end of my talk, I told you very clearly that I have quoted Vedas as well as the other Hindu scriptures. Even if you remove from my talk all the quotation of all the other scriptures besides the Veda, my talk would be the same. I am talking about the last and final messenger, not only from the Puranas, not only from Kalki Purana. I gave so many references from Vedas. I think you didn't hear. If you want, I can repeat it. Do you want me to repeat? Rig Ved, book number one. Hymn number 13, verse number 3. Rig Ved, book number 1. Hymn number 18, verse number 9. Rig Ved, book number 1. Hymn number 142, verse number 3. Tens and hundreds of quotations only from Veda talking about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I told you in my talk that even if you remove Khalki Purana, remove Khalki Avatar, yet there is Narashansa, there is Kaurama, there is Abhandu in Atharva Ved, in Sam Ved, in Rig Ved, all the four Vedas I give, all four. 100% all four. Prophecies I mentioned in my talk only few limited time. You understand, brother? So even if you remove Kalki Purana, Kalki Avatar, yet there'll be peace by only following Vedas. This believes in Tala Vila, Kalmitin Sava, in Baina Bainakum. Come to common terms, I've been asking you. I know many Hindus respect the Bhagavad Gita, respect Purana, therefore I quoted Purana and Bhagavad Gita. Even if you remove Purana and Bhagavad Gita, there is jihad even in Rigved. There's jihad in Rigved, and there are many things. So even if you quote Ved, my talk would be. Majority would be the same. Hope that answers the question. Now coming to your question with the other brother post, that why in Hinduism only certain people are allowed to read the scripture, others aren't, and you're right that Brahmans are allowed to read and Shatya are allowed to listen and Shudras are not, are Shudras Hindus. According to Vedas, Almighty God, he created from his head the Brahmins, the learned class. From his chest, the Kshatriya, the warrior caste. From his thighs or stomach, he created the Vaishyas, the business class. From the feet, he created the Shudras. So this is the caste system which is there in Hinduism, which I don't agree with. Even the reformers, Raja Ram Mohan Roy, he disagrees with. Justice Anade, he disagrees with it. What Allah says in the Quran, 
in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13. Ya yu wa nasu inna khalaqnaakum min zakrin wa unsa wa ja'alnaakum shu'uba wa qaba'ila li ta'arafu inna kramakum inda Allah yatkaakum inna la alimun kabir. O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other, not that you shall despise each other. And the most honor in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has taqwa. The criteria for judgment is not caste, it's not color, it's not wealth, it's not sex, but it is taqwa. It is God consciousness, it is righteousness, it is piety. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 70, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَ بَنِي آدَمَا We have honored all the children of Adam. Whether you're born in a Hindu family or Christian family or Muslim family, if you're a Bani Adam, if you're a human being, you have been honored. In Islam, all human beings are equal. The only way you can be superior is by taqwa. It's by God consciousness. It's by piety. It's by righteousness. So I disagree with this concept. What I believe, and there are many scholars who say, this has been incorporated so that the higher class, the Brahmins could rule. What they came in the philosophy, you shudra, you are a shudra, locals behave like a shudra. If you serve me better, in the next life you'll become a good person. But this life, you serve me. So this, I believe, is not the word of Almighty God. That's the reason reformers of Hinduism, they spoke against this caste system, against Brahmanism, Kshatriyaism. So according to me, if you analyze, this caste system is wrong. And the religious scripture should be read by anyone, whether rich or poor, whether businessman, whether warrior, whether king, because this is a book of the creator. Almighty God. And everyone should know what our Creator wants us to do. Hope that answers the question.